This week we've installed 48 square metres of artificial grass in Long Eaton. We've been in Long Eaton again. Uh, DMJ supplied some fencing. Let's see what we think of that. And DMJ have also come and saved the day. I'm Michael. This is Instagrass episode three. Less shoveling, which is nice. And I didn't expect it to happen. Jesus Christ, that's a bad hole. <laughs> saying that it's stuff never happens but sometimes it does happen they must have loads of spare plastic left from all the straws not making bow, bow. what does it mean to put the steak in the box <laughs> last time you got involved when i had a knife and i ended up with seven stitches i made a little bit of mess up well this one has a holster oh tuesday um you're probably wondering why it's tuesday we'll do that first uh yesterday we were subbing for another artificial grass company so we do a bit of subbing work for them fitting grass uh and we don't we, we can't film their jobs so it's tuesday today we are on if you remember on friday on the last video on friday i went and did a quote in long eaton just after i finished thought i was gonna get run over i thought i've heard something i did went and did a quote well just by chance we had a bit of a gap this week so i booked them in and we are here now doing that ryan get a picture get a video of the train Train, isn't it? Oh my lord, it's a bit excessive now, isn't it? Well, and there we go. Love trains. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was meant to be a quick oh, the train goes by and we get back on it. Never mind, part of the fun, isn't it? We're on Long Eaton, it's a four, uh, six, six by eight. So what's that, 48 square, a bit of offcut, so say 45 square today. Last minute, we booked in, I rang this morning, this never happens. I keep saying that, it's, stuff never happens, but sometimes it does happen. I rang D&J and, and said, hey look, by any chance, I'm not expecting you to get here today, but by any chance, do you have a gap in the afternoon or could you get over here, I need some stone. And it's perfect because we're, let me show you where we are. We are working at the back country road down here but we're working here and this is kind of perfect that if he came with a grab he can literally lift everything over and put it exactly where we want it so he's going to bring the stone in ryan's already got all the turf up so the turf is going to go on the grab stone's going to come in and it means way less wheelbarrow for us than usual way, way less shovel in a wheelbarrow we've got the granite on the truck so we'll have to bring that round but that's nice and easy because we can tip the truck up straight into the wheelbarrows same again less shoveling which is nice we're gonna get the pegs and edging in um and i'll put i can't put it on a time lapse i broke i forgot to tell you right i broke the uh I broke the tripod yesterday bruh <laughs> so i'm gonna have to <laughs> bruh i'm gonna have to order a new tripod tonight and hopefully we can get a uh an amazon next day ting 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 amazon next day ting a tingling um oh and also we're having if you've watched the last two vlogs, if you haven't, watch, uh, click here to watch the first one. Um, we're having some sound issues where sometimes the phone is picking up loud, not loud. If I turn around and start talking, you can't hear me. Uh, I'm going to order a mic tonight, but that's not going to be until the middle of the day tomorrow. I won't be at home, I'll be on the job. So I'm hoping from Wednesday onwards in this video, we're going to actually have some decent, decent audio. Uh, Mike's getting a mic. Mike's getting a mic. Uh, let's get these edges in and I'll we'll give you some shots of when the grab gets here because I think that will cool. Why would they make the string line out of out of cardboard? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's there's like a good reason. I, there must there must be a good reason, but why would you not make it out of you is working out in the rain in the wet all day? Why wouldn't you make it out of plastic? Look, they, they must have. They must have loads of spare plastic left from all the straws they're not making. Do you know what I mean? Where's all this spare plastic going? They could be making these plastic string line things, couldn't they? Five eight, five nine's too tight. I've only got six meters. What have we got? Three seven. Three seven. Is it? Doesn't look that long. Three, so that what three point seven and three point one eight. Okay, let's get these, let's get these pegs in this side. 
we know that the hammer is where we're at there and then up here we'll just make it look like the board is the same width this one yeah we'll make the board the same width rather than the grass the same make the border square instead of the grass being square yeah Yeah, we are. we'll do that. We'll put a string line on and we'll have a look. Nice. Where's the hammer? Is it? Where's the hammer's at? It's hammer time! Ryan, what does it mean to put the steak in the box? What does it mean? You want some philosophy or what? Or is this like a question of what do you mean? What, what do you mean <laughs> the steak in the box? I mean, what does it mean to put the steak in the box? Yeah, I think it would mean you put this it in is the some wrong Roddy place. Rich hype. He's, He's putting, putting it, a steak in the box. Well, he put it in the wrong place. It goes in the back of the truck. You want to tell him the steak? <laughs> right, put it right. In the I box. think he's on about. No, you're talking about them timber steaks, aren't you? <laughs> 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 I don't think Roddy Rich is on about the timber steaks well, for the funny, mate, for the grass. You're putting steak in a box, and uh, you're just wasting food, aren't you? I don't. What is the so you know the song I'm on about? No, I can put the steak in the box. Do 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 do. I'm gonna get lazy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are you sure it says steak in a box? No. <laughs> okay. I put steak in the box. What? What did you say? I put steak in a box. That I'm sure that we're gonna. I'll look it up. I'm gonna look. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. Wait. Have a look it up. Just have a look on your phone. Let's find out. Because I'm sure he puts the steak in the box. I've never heard that. Wait. How? What would we do this? What would I search here? Roddy Rick, what's the song called? I'm gonna get lazy. I'm gonna get lazy. I'll just type in Roddy Rich lazy. The box, that's what it's called. Yeah, Roddy Rich, the box. I can't put it in the vlog, that's sad because it'd be nice if we could put it in. I had to put a stick in the box. Oh, a stick? Yeah. Why is he putting a stick in a box? <laughs> what is this guy doing with the boxes? <laughs> with his sticks and his stakes? Right, I think he's referring to the box as. You can't say it on the camera, but as a lady's intimate parts, because he's on about licking the box and then put a stick in the box. Oh, no, this... <laughs> <laughs> right, I thought he was putting the steak in the box. You see why I got so confused on thinking what you're about I, to say? I, I wish, you know, like a lot of these songs, mate, I, the, the, what I'm singing along is nothing like what the actual song is. I call that. I make my own words. Yeah, that's called freestyling, mate. They're getting the lyrics wrong. Don't feel bad for yourself. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Big up me. <laughs> with the steak in the box. <laughs> steak in the box, right? <laughs> with the picking up and dropping off of the stone that stone was way harder than it needed to be we put it in the wrong place and he couldn't quite reach it most of it nearly all of it so we've had to shovel it over as he's grabbing that was a lot of work but then the stones the stones all here and ready so all we've got to do now is get the rest of the edging in starting on that now bit over there bit over here going around here to the bush uh, and then get the stone stone raked out this will go into tomorrow um but i don't think this should be a, a difficult day tomorrow every time i say that it does end up being difficult but it should be nice and easy one no well yeah i do enjoy it but obviously it means i have to get out of the jobs ryan's decided he doesn't want to be a rye anymore no more rye because he actually i forgot but he did tell me a while ago he hates it and that's what i call so we need a nickname. If you've got a, if you've got an idea, we do. I think we should both have nicknames. Ryan's real name is Brian. Let's stick it with that. What about Robin? What do you think you're Batman? <laughs> <laughs>
I'm going to leave Ryan with this now. I've got to get off and then tomorrow we'll be back to complete this one. He's going to get the timbers in down the edge and try and get the stone out. And then I'll be, uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back to save the day. Don't tell Ryan, you won't see this until it's happening. I'm going to save the day. And we're back. Uh, back in Long Eaton. Ryan's done a lot since we were on it yesterday. So he's got all the edging is in down there. He's got the edging in down here and he's just finishing off the edging across the back. So we've got edging in, just kind of changed where the border is to avoid wasting a load of grass. Um, so we've squared it up a bit, it's nice and tidy now, but he's got all the stone, all that six tonne of stone raked out as well. And then he's got half the granite in, almost half the granite in. So I'm going to put the rest of this granite in while he finishes that border off. Then we'll be uh, be ready to compact it. And then almost ready for the, not far off getting the grass down now. And uh, the stone seems to have done it just perfect. So I'm glad I, I called them yesterday and all, added on an extra two tonne. So I just thought, you know what, let's bring it up a bit because I don't want any drainage issues later on. So it's looking good. Need to sort out tomorrow. We'll go and drop the. Um, I'll go and drop the Makita 12-inch saw, still saw thing. I'll drop that off to get that fixed, yeah. um, and uh, we'll figure out what to do about this about the breaker. Maybe maybe we get a Makita cordless one, 18 volt. It goes with the batteries. Yeah. I, just, I don't know what the lifespan on it on them is. See, we don't we don't use it a lot. We don't actually use it that often. But do we do we get one of them and then we can use it with the batteries? I think they're about two hundred quid. Well, we need better batteries though, because batteries the batteries really wouldn't last long. We'd need more batteries. We need about ninety batteries for a day. <laughs> we do need more. What have we got? Five batteries. We need more. We do need more batteries, but at like eighty quid a piece. Because the rip saw, on that, if we're using that part, we four batteries a day. Yeah. Grano's all done. Time to roll the grass out. We're all nice and smooth now over here. Smooth, baby. Oh, that's chicken. Oh, baby. It's been on the car. Oh, baby. I've been close. I've been closer than that before. <laughs> That's, that for me is a decent amount. There's very little wastage on this old man. We've got like what, 0.2% wastage or something. It's very little. What are you watching me with a knife again? <laughs> Last time you got involved when I had a knife and I ended up with seven stitches. Oh yeah, you're getting them out tomorrow, aren't you, mate? Oh, what day is it tomorrow? Oh no, no, Friday. Friday you're getting them out Friday. It's Wednesday today. Getting them out Friday. Oh, does it hurt to get them out? When I had stitches, I had um, when I had stitches, I got dissolved. Why didn't I put dissolved ones in? So I don't know if it hurts. I've had stitches in my mouth before. So I, I bet it does hurt. What stitches in your mouth? What were you doing? Is this a personal thing? Can we share it on as well? Yeah. What? Like when I had braces and that, there was like a tooth that snapped from the brace and it stayed in my gum. So the only way to get it out is you had to cut away my gum, take it out and stitch me up. No, 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 no. no pain relief whatsoever as well while they were stitching and taking them out. That hurt like. <laughs> a little bit of rust. I've asked the guy that I got them blades from for mm. some more, but he said he's waiting for them to come in. Mm. I might message him again because they should have come in by now. Well, in but rust, they, we do not trust. They are not too clever, no. Me and Ryan were just on about air process up. When I first got this speed knife, this is what we cut the uh, the joins in with. Um, nice bit of kit, this. The Henko speed knife. First time I was showing the lads how to change the blade on it. And I was like, right, you need to be really careful. Let me show you how a professional changes a blade and then slice my finger. Not cool. So I'll let you do this one. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this drum roll, changes. drum roll, please. There we are. We good? Yes. 
Well, I don't know what. Oh, I've just had to pull it over a bit as well because we were a bit tight here. I've just had to pull it over a bit more, so I think we might have to put a little join over there. Maybe. I was just, uh, I'm just, I, I saw the strap and I was like, what's up? What, what, what is going on with these straps on here? And Ryan's trying to flex his engineering skills where he's tied the straps around the bush to get it out of the way. So we've got room down here. You some uh, on some next engineer thing, are you? Best decision you made hiring a service engineer. <laughs> not quite the same thing but um obviously the knowledge has uh, has passed over with it oh what's that transitional skills that's the one we need transitional skills that's what we need To PC World. I was looking for a new tripod, but they didn't have what I needed. Um, and I said to him the other day, he was getting all the paper out of his pockets, all the receipts and the business card and all of that. And I said to him, oh, Do you want me to get you a, a wallet, um, an Instagram wallet? So I picked <laughs> in PC World, I picked up this uh, sat nav case because a couple of weeks ago he got a. He got a, a Magnuson knife and it came with a little like holster thing and he loves it so I was like now I've got him a, a wallet holster now I think it's definitely not cool but I think he'll like it so we'll see whether he likes it Ryan we've got your present you know the uh Instagram wallet I wasn't about getting you the Instagram wallet yeah boy well this one has a holster oh where's my I ain't got my holster on. Oh, I told you about that. <laughs> I ain't got my holster on. Right, so basically, basically mate, it's a sat nav case. It's basically I got it in PC world, a yesterday. fanny pack, innit? Basically. But do you know what I was thinking? What? You were going on about how your um, phone gets full of uh, full of dust. Yeah. I reckon your phone would fit in there as well. You know what? Let's try it. Yeah, pass us that grass. Chuck that over there. Oh, a sec. look at that. It's even got compartments in there from the other stuff. I thought there's a compartment, yeah. There's a bit for your phone. There's a bit for you to put your... I don't know if it'd fit oh, in. Oh, that's oh, sad. Oh, the casing. The casing's like... Oh, oh you... that's sad. That is Take so... the case off a sec. It's where you all fall apart, mate. Oh, look at Can that. Can we make that, it There's work. a good looking dust. I can't wait to get a new one. That looks like it's going to fall apart if you take the case off. Oh, can you see that bit of dust? Did I hear a snap? No, it's... maybe. Oh, it's one of them front and back thing that's sad if it doesn't fit then it's just gonna have to be your instagram wallet but i thought it was like a phone uh, holder still it's like is it not is it not like, oh it's like literally two mil oh it just that's like not two oh, mil that's, that's not annoying. Cool, oh wait wait can we force it you don't want to have to force it is it in there i think i uh, maybe i'll have to get a slightly bigger one the thing is though if someone's ringing me and like it's not work is it a zip zip, and then it's. Let's just go for it. You know what I mean? You've got to go for the full shebang. Jesus Christ, that's a tight hole. Take out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the uh, the holster. Mate, I feel like one of those. You know what I need? I need one of those like. Right, I thought, mate. Shirts that are too honestly, small. in my in my mind, you and your holster, I thought it would be further round, like oh, on the side. Because oh, yeah, well, like... that does look like a fanny pack. It's not, it's not a man bag. It's a satchel. It's a satchel. What's that off? It's a uh, Bradley Cooper. Ah, uh, yes. Hangover. Hangover, yeah. Mate, now I just feel like there you go. Now you got yourself a little satchel. I feel like a Western dad. Let's do uh, let's do a little test, right? Let's see. Let's see. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. You put it on upside down, now the phone's going to fall out. <laughs> that was swag. That's not. That's called quick action, quick release. Bow, bow, bow. Uh, I'm unsure on that, if that's going to be a ting or not. No, a ting. <laughs> I don't think it's a ting. What are you saying? Pin this one in. Yeah, uh, do you want to pin it and I'll get rough cut around the outside? Yeah, boy. We've just unfolded. We've done that one. Joins in. Just needs to do the bottom bit. Say that again, Roy. Where's the join? Where's the join at? Where's the joint? Well, you're going to be able to see it if I put it on the camera now because they can see where we've brushed and where we haven't brushed. Yeah, but you've got Let's to show them anyway. Let me look through the camera. Look. You have a look through the camera. 
Where's okay, the joint? So it's not where it's like we've overbrushed, we've brushed further than the joint. But um for a winter join that's looking pretty tasty. What are you saying? So we've just been on about how uh shall I drop a what would you call it, Ro? What would you call it? We'll drop a sneak preview, a hint, what, what's the word? What for? Explain a bit more, you just Well if I say it then I can't that was the point of the vlog is that I can go, oh, we're going to do a thing and then tell them the thing. If I tell them the thing and then say we're going to do a thing, we've already done the thing. Yeah, but I don't know what context you mean in I'm going to reveal. No, not the reveal. No, we're doing the reveal next week. Or the week after, no, the week after, I think. Of it's your makeover. Really? Of your makeover. Oh, we're doing the makeover. And before and after the makeover. Ryan's, we're going to wax Ryan's face. You know what it is? It's because Michael works me that hard. I don't get time to go barbers. I start and finish after they shut and open. Um, <laughs> but we never work Saturdays. We never work Saturdays. Right, we've been really lucky here. So we've got two metre, four metre. We put that edging in yesterday. And we've been, I think so. I haven't fully cut, I haven't fully cut in yet. Let me turn that radio off before we get... Before the video gets taken off the off the tube, the YouTube. Right, so down there, we've got one stitch to the end. One stitch, which is like ten less than ten mil, less than ten mil, literally just enough. So I'm hoping that we can cut it off. That'll be just enough to tuck in, and it'll be beautiful. I am enjoying that. Do you know what my favourite bit of the vlog is? Right, my favourite bit. Favourite bit is choosing the music. I love the music, but especially the time lapse. And it's just like them. <laughs> I like that old. Um, I like the one you've got on the first video. It's like a. It, it brings that it's insane in the membrane. What are those? What are they call? Cypress Hill. I'll it's put it on now. I'll put the one that Ryan's on about on now. <laughs> I want to brush this and then I'm going to get on the top of the nails with him. But this is looking really tidy now. Let me show, I'll show you after we've brushed it, but let me show you let me show you what we're up to now. So we've brushed half of it. Nails in all the way around after he's tucked it in. But I'm happy with that. It's looking uh, looking very tidy. Are we all packed up now, yeah? yeah? It's very dark this evening. We're all finished. There's the train thing. Well, that's a nice hand. That's my hand. That was a good palm. Thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, tomorrow we're fitting fencing that we're getting from D&J, so we'll go and pick that up in the morning, and then we're fitting the fencing in Sutton and Ashfield. So on to tomorrow. It's Friday. You're probably wondering what happened to Thursday. So are we. Yesterday was a bit of a nightmare. Let me let me show you. Today we're on some we're on a bit of fencing today. Uh, the fencing we've got from D&J, who saved us early saved us earlier in the week with crab. We're putting the fencing in along here eight foot bays so there's two gravel, two one foot gravel boards and a six foot panel normally we're doing grass but this is just something a little bit different we're doing some fencing we've got one two three four five six seven posts to do yesterday i had quotes i left ryan doing this for most of the day on his own the first hole which i dug out we end up hitting rebar which is in the what's it called footing footing in the footing in the footing for the wall, there was concrete bar. I'll put a picture up here. Uh, so that wasn't nice to cut through. That's what Noel's cutting now in the second hole. I'm hoping that by the time we get to the fourth hole, down there at the end of the end of the wall, that Ryan's already dug these three holes out. So they're ready, but we don't want to fit them. We'd like to start one end, work our way down, and make sure all the tops are nice. Because if you put this in, if you put this post in now, they might end up way too high or way too low compared to the other one. So it's tempting to get them in now while Noel's digging a hole, but we kind of can't. <laughs>
Hmm? Right, these are these are not for us. Don't get your oh, these aren't for us, so don't get your hopes up. But one for your lads. I went to this um I went to this bakery. Oh, I went to this bakery. And they did like all these crazy gingerbread men. They had like cows, dinosaurs, like, all sorts of stuff. I didn't get the name of the bakery, but they look cool. So I bought I bought a load of them all. measure these holes out somehow, somehow a whole foot well more than a foot more than a foot wrong ryan dug one there yesterday which is where we thought it would be but it's actually ended up here which for us i mean it's made except for having to redig the hole it's made the job itself a little bit easier because there's less cutting stuff down and noel's having to grind the post cut a little bit off the post because we had one post that was too long so he's having to grind that off but the um the big saw the what we call still saw that's been took in for repair this morning so he's having to use the little grinder to cut all the way around the, po the post which i know it's not going to go all the way through so he's still going to have to knock the end off anyway it's annoying but when we get the big saw back it'll make it a lot easier so it's going to sit panel down and redo it okay oh, i don't know mm. <laughs> that doesn't look right too big but we need to get down to that height somewhere over here see that's not too bad you just go for the six up there then drop it down at mind it's still gonna be this is what i'm saying i don't actually know what to do with that right we sorted it out a little bit we figured it we figured it out we made a little bit i made a little bit of a mess up Okay, so we figured that bit out. We've replaced the panel with a bit taller. We've mess with not quite worked out properly what we needed. It goes from eight foot to seven and a half. We've used half gravel boards there. Right, we figured out the problem. We've put the wrong panel in. We've had because we've got all the different sizes. We've got eight foot, seven and a half, at seven, but it all looks near enough level. And then we're dropping down to a six to match this existing fencing we fitted. How long ago did we do this? For Christmas, wasn't it? A couple of months. Yeah. yeah. A couple of months ago we finished that. So it's Friday, it's half past four. We're fin we're almost finished. I've got an appointment to go to that I'm gonna be late. The guys have got <laughs> <laughs> the guys have got one could you see that? Yeah. <laughs> The guys have got one more post to put in, um, a full bay and a little panel to get us to the end. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, next week we've got 100 square meters to fit in Alfreton. We've got another little job and someone's been lying about me. So we're gonna talk about that next week. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, click the subscribe button and click the bell notification so you're one of the first ones to see next week. This week at Instagram. No. <laughs> is that recording? Indeed it is. What did I say? This oh, morning? for f It's Friday, not Thursday. You're probably wondering why it's not that. No, okay. We'll go again. <laughs> Three, two. No, 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 don't count it down. Just <laughs> I can